In today's video, we're focusing on undercoating the wheel wheels to look from this to this using Krylon undercoating. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. If you want to help support the channel, there will be a link in the description for merch like this. It's a screen printed shirt, very nice quality, and I have other things on there as well. So definitely consider checking it out and uh, helping support the channel so I can continue making videos like this and better. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. God bless you and welcome to more Motorsports Garage. If you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. So I'm not going to bore you with a ton of details. We're just going to pretty much get straight into it. We got the wheel well, we need to clean it up, and we're going to be using Krylon undercoating to get it nice and undercoated in here just to give it a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with all of that and then explain exactly what I did and go over some more. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so there's a few ways you can do this. We're just gonna be starting with a scrubby brush, just kind of knocking the dirt off of here. Now, if you have a pressure washer, you could uh, put this on jack stands, pressure wash in here, and let it dry overnight. Now, the reason you want it to dry overnight is if you get water underneath this stuff, it's gonna stay there and it'll cause rusting. We don't have rusting issues here in Central Texas, um, at least from my experience. So I'm not doing it for the rust preventative, but it is nice to have rust preventative on an old car. So we're just gonna be getting the basic dust off of it, then using some 80 grit, scuffing all this up in here, plasticking stuff up with some plastic bags or whatever we have, and then just basically coating it. It's pretty much that simple, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started doing that, and then uh, we'll go over more once I get it done. Hope you guys enjoy. got everything uh, plastic bagged off, a bunch of HEV bags, and got it all wiped down, and scuffed, and ready to go. So now we're just going to go ahead and spray it. So make sure to shake it up really well before you spray it. So I like to dust it on. Don't just spray and hold like normal paint. This stuff comes out pretty fast and hard, so you kind of just dust it. Uh, and kind of just, you're gonna have to play with it to kind of figure it out. So here it is with the undercoating on. Looks so much better and it'll be protected now. I also cleaned up the bolts. I will have polished lower control arms going on the back just to clean it up a little bit more. And of course different rotors going on. Possibly painting the calipers a wrinkle red. Um, but yeah, it's definitely cleaned up a lot and that made a huge difference just doing the wheel well. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them and then we'll go over more. I hope you guys are enjoying the video.
right, so there it is for the Krylon undercoating. And as you can see, it says protective and paintable, resists rust. Um, so that's one reason we can paint it black. Uh, you can paint it any color, really. But it was brown, and I didn't really like the brown look. And this just looks so much cleaner. It's hard to pick up on camera, but um, this oversprayed color was in there, and it just looked really bad. So now it looks pretty clean, and it really ties everything together. It's all about the small details. I know my autism, I just fixate on the small things. I hyper fixate on them, um, but that's why it, I think it comes out good. I don't like these headlights. I'm going to be putting some stock ones in soon with some fog lights as well, so it should look pretty nice. Um, I painted this white, if you didn't see, on my updates on the community post. Just go to the YouTube page and click community tab, and I post there. It's kind of like Facebook, sort of, but not really. Um, the engine bay still looks really good. has a nice... Uh, color shift from blue to purple and out in the sun it looks amazing it just sparkles like crazy uh, it's hard to pick up on camera at least on this camera uh, Bulbu sent a fuel rail a uh, dipstick coil cover and Jack Spaniel Racing sent this valve cover they're really helping the build out tremendously so links will be in the description for both of their uh, shop pages and discount codes to save you guys money when you shop on there it helps me out tremendously especially when you use that discount code so please consider doing that um, bull boost also sent me this steering wheel which i like a lot better it says adrenaline chaser which i'm not i don't really care about that i just like how it looks uh, but he is working on getting a john 316 steering wheel designed which will be really cool it'll say john 316 in red on a black steering wheel and maybe some uh, you know the mint color lettering i don't know exactly what it'll say he's working on that design um, that'll be from Bull Boost, so definitely check the links in the description. Uh, if you guys didn't see the John 316 in the back, it lights up uh, park lights and brake light, um, and it's in red. John 316 is in red in the Bible as well because Jesus spoke it. So anything that's in red, Jesus spoke. Uh, but it looks pretty good. We still have to wet sand the whole thing with 800 grit and apply 2K clear. I'm working on limited funds, so bear with me. But I do have plans to do that still. I have to try to get all this done before the end of April. When there's a car show that I've been invited to um, with this car, and I'm going to use that to uh, give out some Bibles and stuff like that. I know this probably won't win no show. I don't really care if I win. It's all for the glory of God, not for me anyways. Uh, this has a crack, so i got to get that replaced. Windows tinted, so I have to come up with a lot of money in a short time. But God will provide. He always does. Um, so there's still stuff coming on this that we are going to do. Um, I want to share this testimony with you guys if you guys would be willing to listen. I'll put a picture right here. It's of the car that I was in that almost killed me in 2007. Um, that is where I was sitting. We were driving to go get Taco Bell. Me, my brother, my friend Alan, and my friend Jesse, we were all riding in this car and it lost control on sleeting, icy road. And it picked up speed as it was sliding and I, it hit the pole right where I was at. I wasn't driving, my buddy Alan was. And uh, we all survived. Everyone walked away. I had bruises. I was sitting there, pinned in the car. Everyone else had got out before me. The car started smoking. I eventually just yanked myself out of there because no one was helping me. And uh, when I got out, the frame collapsed where my legs were. I'm convinced that God was protecting me. And the confirmation of this is two years later, on that day, April 14th, 2009, my daughter was born, my firstborn. And uh, it's just super significant seeing all of the God dots, a dot here, a dot there, and just connecting all the God dots to see how he brought us all the way to Texas. I mean, it gets crazy. Um, there's so much to this, and I just cannot help but glorify God. I am not ashamed of God. I will never be ashamed of God. He is our provider. He is our comforter. And he continues to show his mighty hand in all of things that I have seen in my life. And I continue to see him ever-present. And uh, that's, that's why I want to proclaim the gospel, work on cars, and do all this stuff. This is a faith-based YouTube channel. A lot of people will say, go preach on another channel. This is my channel, and God gave it to me, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to proclaim his goodness. All glory goes to him, none to me, all to him, because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. And I just wanted to say, God loves you. He's calling out to you. Many of you have heard this message over and over, and you roll your eyes or you stop listening to the YouTube channel, but he loves you. He is calling, and time is running out. Every second that goes by, we are one second to Christ's return. So please consider opening that Bible and seeing what he has said to you. Don't go to church and all that religious stuff. Just go to the source. I'm not saying church is bad by any means. 
just go straight to God. Don't worry about what the religious leaders say. That's all religion. Jesus didn't like religion either. That's what pinned him to the cross. Religious people. So, with that being said, that is basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a pretty long one. I uh, apologize for that. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here. And here's the outro. There will be a link in the description for a free Gideon Bible download for anybody who wants to know the good news. And the good news is John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. And that anybody who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So if we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, we will be saved. We'll be given a new heart, a new mind, a new desire, a new fiery passion that burns for the Lord. And to get the word out. Because everybody is headed to hell. Everyone. I was too. But now I am saved by grace through my faith. And that Jesus got on the cross and took my spot. He took your spot. I know you probably don't feel good. This message offends many people. But I'm not here to offend you. I'm here to wake you up. That he is coming soon. So repent and turn away from your sin. God has given us so much. And when much is given, much is required. So I am required because this is my new heart and my new mind to tell you guys that Jesus loves you. I know you may not feel it. You may see bad things and be like, but James, if God is so real, why are bad things in the world? Well, I'll tell you why. Because sin is in the world. And sin was passed down by nature through Adam. So we naturally are sinful people. But in order to get rid of the sin, we need to be clothed with righteousness. And once you're clothed with righteousness, God will no longer see the sin. He will see his son. And we can't do that on our own. We cannot get to heaven on our own. Buddha cannot get us to heaven. Okay? Only Jesus Christ. He's the only way. The way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. I tell you this not to scare you. I tell you this because it's exciting and good news that we have a chance to go to heaven and be with the Father and the Son. And it's an amazing thing. So if you guys want to know more about this, definitely open up the Word of God. He's trying to speak to you. He's calling out to you. You're not seeing this message by accident. You're not seeing it because I posted at the end of all of my videos. I do that because I'm trying to reach that one person. Jesus left the 99 and went after the one. You're the one. I was the one. He has called us all to a purpose. What's your purpose? So that's something you need to talk with God. Have a relationship. Get rid of the religion. Get rid of the denominations. None of that matters. There's not going to be a Catholic side of heaven and a Christian side of heaven. We're all there because of Jesus Christ. Not because you. Not because what you did. You cannot work your way to heaven. The only thing you can do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth as the scripture says. I love you and I just wanted to let you guys know this. That everyone has a chance and that's amazing news. So if you guys want to know more, links in the description. Download the Bible and start reading. I recommend starting around Luke. Just start at Luke. It's just a good place to start. Um, but it's up to you where you start. It's your Bible. But that is basically it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome.